Hi, my name is Matt Benyon. I'm the Senior Content Marketing Manager here at WD, and today we're going to talk about how to get a My Passport wireless set up using a Windows computer. Today I'm going to use my Surface Pro running Windows 8.1. Well, let's take a look at what we get in the box uh, when you buy My Passport Wireless. First of all, you get My Passport Wireless itself. I'm going to press the power button to turn this device on. Now, you'll see that it's got two LEDs, a power LED and a Wi-Fi LED. While it boots up, this power LED blinks. We'll know it's all done when it turns green or blue or whatever the color is. The Wi-Fi LED will turn blue when it's up and running and broadcasting a network. Now inside the box, I'm also gonna get a power adapter, and this is a, a two amp, five volt adapter, as well as a USB cable. You can charge the device with these or connect it to a computer, but it does include enough power out of the box to get set up. So now that this, this Wi-Fi LED is blue, I know it's, it's broadcasting a wireless network. I'm now gonna switch to my computer, and we are going to join my Passport Wireless's Wi-Fi. And I can see here on my list, my passport, just to connect. And we're connected. So now I'm going to go to my web browser, type in my passport, hit enter. And this will bring up the web dashboard. Now, the first thing we're going to do is read through the end user license agreement and I'll click accept. And now it's going to ask me to add some security to my wireless network. I could change my Wi-Fi name, but I'm going to leave it my passport for now. But I'm going to create a password for our Wi-Fi called password. Now, I've, uh, I've added security to the Wi-Fi network that I was just connected to. And it's actually going to do a couple things here. It's going to boot us off of this Wi-Fi network in just a moment. And then we're going to reconnect to a previous network. And we're going to wait for a few minutes while My Passport Wireless begins to rebroadcast its wireless network with the security we just added. So now I'm going to reconnect to my passport, asking me for the password we just created. Now it's asking me if I'd like to share, I'm going to choose yes. Now it's going to offer to save a shortcut to the web dashboard here to my desktop. I'm going to choose to save that shortcut. I'm going to hit save. And now I've downloaded this access to this page uh, through an easy URL. So now we're connected to My Passport Wireless. We've gone through and created wireless security. Uh, but let me also now then go and connect to another internet connection. So I'm going to choose to switch to another network. Look at WD Demo. And I have the choice between hotspot or home network mode. Hotspot mode is really designed for public settings such as an airport, coffee shop, hotel. Uh, and if there's other computers also connected to that Wi-Fi, choosing hotspot mode adds a layer of security preventing other computers from seeing my device and all my files. Now home network mode is really designed to share with all the other computers on the network. I'm going to choose home network now and I'll type in my password. And in just a moment, we'll be connected both to My Passport Wireless plus the internet. So as you can see, getting a, a My Passport Wireless set up using a Windows computer is real easy to do. Simply boot the device up, join its wireless network, follow some on-screen instruction, and you're good to go. My name is Matt Benyon. Thanks for joining me.